up see here we're back another MRE ration review and today I got breakfast patties IMP 2016 this is the oldest IMP I've had and special thanks to Old Smokey for sending it my way uh, he has an awesome live stream he does, talks about rations older rations and does all kinds of awesome stuff awesome community over there I'll put a link for that channel down below as well as uh, another live stream he's done so really excited to bust in this because I love breakfast it's one of my favorite menus I've never had the breakfast patty Canadian IMP so let's see what we got yeah, I'm really excited to see some of the newer ones. I've seen a couple of people review the newer ones, uh, like Steve, um, Smitty, and BT. They uh, did the new review on the, tw I think it's 2020s, where they're actually in a really nice different bag. Says these older ones are not waterproof, where they're actually resealable. But this is a 2016. Let's go ahead and open it up. So first thing we have, the dessert, which is the sliced pears. And then the main, which I, I don't think I've ever had these um, breakfast patties, so I'm really excited for those. We have the hamburger bun. Got maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Looks like we have, should have two of these drinks. Let's see, we got the lime, lemon lime. We got the vanilla protein drink. I think I was so used to the 2019s that they actually come with two drinks, and then 2016 looks like it does not. We have a peanut butter. We have a ketchup. Uh, mustard. We got the Nest Cafe Sweet and Creamy Hot Beverage Bag. Looks like a Moist Nap. That's um, not the spork I'm used to. Very cool. We got some matches. Tic Tacs and the big napkin. So definitely not used to the spork, not used to not having two drinks, and then ketchup and mustard for the sausage patties is kind of weird. I thought like a table syrup would be better. And then um, I'm not seeing the compressed napkin, which is a great part of the IMPs in my opinion. I'm gonna go and warm up the breakfast patties, and thankfully CT when our during our meetup he actually hooked me up with some. Um, Canadian FRHs, so they work out great. So you just pull them out, and it's made by Baxter's. It looks like there's two in there. We'll go ahead and put them in the FRH, get them warmed up. Now sometimes I'll take the Nescafe, mix it into the vanilla protein drink, but uh, today I'm just going to make up the vanilla protein drink. I'm not going to put as much water as it calls for, because I do want it a little thicker. I do like the container though, it's got the little open top, and it has a resealable, so you, when you get the water in there you can shake it up if you want. And the gusset at the bottom, so you can set it down. Go ahead and mix our uh, lemon lime sports drink inside of our beverage bag. And it does have a little line on it to tell you how much water for the sports drink, so that's really good. And the coffee. I got my water warming up on the stove. Um, the maple and brown oatmeal you can do add hot or cold water to taste. I like my oatmeal cold, and uh, it doesn't tell you how much. You just add the taste. So I like it thicker too, so I'm just going to add that in there and then add a little bit of water. Go ahead and open up the hamburger bun. See if that held out okay. Feels a little bit stale, but uh, a little bit smashed, but it's actually looking pretty good. Okay, hot water's ready to go. Go ahead and get the sweet Nescafe sweet and creamy ready to go. Really excited for this. I really enjoy this coffee. I haven't tried out of the wood cup, I don't think. All right, now we got the sliced pears. Go ahead and open those up. One thing I like um, about the 2020 is to get rid of the cardboard, so you can get to worry about that. They're just in the pouch, and it's by Baxter's again. You can see a little bit of the age in this one. Um, usually, when I get the IMPs, the fresh ones, they got really good color and texture. These ones are a little bit brown. I'll go ahead and try one out. You can tell they've softened up a little bit. They are um, a little bit bitter too, but still. Edible and good, in my opinion. All right, I'm gonna go and try the coffee while it's nice and warm. It looks like the main's ready to go. Sweet and creamy is perfect. Like I said, and most of the times when I get these IMPs, this is I typically like my black uh, coffee black, but they get the mixture right, both um, the sweetener and the creamer, and it makes it perfect. All right, the oatmeal is ready to go, so I'm gonna go and try that. Nice and thick. I used to use cold water, and it mixed up perfectly. The maple um, oatmeal is 
awesome, very creamy, very rich. Has like a milky flavor to it. And it's really um, perfect consistency and be perfect for a breakfast meal. Okay, the FRH did a fantastic job. These things are piping hot, pretty hot to the touch. And it definitely comes with two. Go ahead and split one. We're just gonna, gonna try one by itself before I add the ketchup and mustard. Okay, right off the bat, it doesn't really taste like a sausage patty to me. Um, very slightly. So I can see how the mustard and ketchup would go with it. Um, but yeah, just by itself, I like the American Emery, the maple sausage uh, patty, much better. But let's go ahead and make one of these sandwiches up. Kind of like an open base sandwich. And we'll try the ketchup and mustard on it. Came with it, might as well give it a shot. Alright, we'll put a little bit of the ketchup on this side. And a little bit of the mustard. And we'll give that a try. Uh, ketchup and mustard don't really go with it that well, but it does it does work as far as on the bread. But I would just probably eat the patties by itself. And then the peanut butter is probably just for the other piece. But maybe we can try some peanut butter on top of it. I'm going to try this sports drink out real quick. Lemon lime sports drinks really good. I mean, really helps on a hot day. Uh, very thirst quenching. And um, I just, I just tastes like a sports drink. And a little bit of cold water goes a long way. Now I'm going to try some of the peanut butter on this sandwich and see how that works. Maybe it adds to the breakfast element. Okay, now that was really good. I didn't know just what to expect, but adding the peanut butter, it, it gave the sweetness and it contrasted with the sausage patty, and it made it seem like more of a breakfast sandwich. And the sausage really flavor came through a little bit. So overall, really good. That's how I definitely eat it. Now I'm gonna try the vanilla protein drink. I said I didn't add a ton of water to this because I like it a little bit thicker. So maybe it'll be like a pudding. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, that actually worked out pretty good. It's very strong that way. Uh, and it reminds me of like a vanilla pudding. But overall, really good breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and talk more and recap. Okay, time for the recap on the 2016 breakfast patty, Canadian 9P. Very impressed with some of the changes that have been made through the years. Now, I was looking for two drinks. It only came with one. I was looking for the spork. I didn't have the spork, didn't have the compressed napkin. But this just goes to show through time, the Canadian IMP is working um, on improving each year. Now that it comes with two drinks, it's got the compressed napkin, it's got the spork, and it even comes in now, the 2020s has that waterproof case without the cardboard. So consistent improvements, and I can really appreciate that. But as far as the meal, the breakfast patties weren't really sausage patties to me. Adding the peanut butter surprisingly made it more of a breakfast item to me. That sweetness of the peanut butter contrasted with the sausage patty on the uh, hamburger bun worked out good. The ketchup and mustard didn't really work for me. It, I don't know, it, it just did not um, make a good sandwich. Now the uh, pears were a little bit aged but held up good and had still got a good flavor. The maple um, oatmeal was fantastic. Very creamy, had a nice like a milky flavor to it. The Nescafe 3-in-1 uh, was a fantastic coffee mixed up perfectly. The vanilla shake, I did a little bit less water and uh, made it a little bit thicker. It was like a vanilla pudding. It worked out pretty good. I don't like mixing it with all the water because it kind of gets like frothy and very uh, lots of foam and it does not taste that good to me, but it tastes better in that way. And then the sports drink, lemon lime, fantastic, excellent in this hot weather and definitely quenching my thirst. Again, special thanks to Old Smokey for sending my way. I appreciate it. really like checking out older rations from different um, like Canadian IMPs and stuff like that. I am looking for a Canadian IMP, an older one. I guess it had strawberry rhubarb, which is my absolute favorite pie. So I definitely want, there's a strawberry rhubarb mixture. I'm hoping to find a good one so I can try it out. But that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.